Hi, my name is Colin Harris. I'm one of the co-owners of Flux Fluid Motion High Performance. The video today entails a basic warm-up on body borders uh, before they get into the water. So, we're going to start off very quickly. As body borders, we do a lot of pushing from the board up. So I want to get my corset just the, between my posterior and quads here nice and warm. So I'm just going to first start off basic twist. Okay, we're going to keep this very simple. I'm going to twist a few times just when I feel comfortable. I'm not going to throw myself into anything. Once I feel comfortable that my core is warm, I'm going to balance, grab one knee, I'm going to pull up to my shoulder and then bring it inwards. So I feel my glute tighten up and hold it there, release, and again, as deep as I can go. The higher you bring your knee, the better. Keep your leg that you're balancing on as straight as possible really get deep into that leg. With the same one, bend, bring it on Oops, on top of your knee. You're going to sit as low as you can. Place your right hand on top of your right knee and sit down and really feel that stretch deep into your groin and just work with it. Don't push yourself into any movements. Just feel the stretch. Once that's done, on both legs, I'm going to put my hands on my hips. I'm going to do a figure of eight. I exhale down, push my bum back, Inhale to the right, pushing my core forward. Exhale down to the left. Every time I go down, pushing back hamstrings, I come up in a round rotation, pushing into my hip extensor, flexor, straight into both, and down again to the other side. Doing about 10 to 12 of these at a time. Very good. Straight, stretch it out, or kick it out. If you need to do it again, do it as many times as you need to do it. What you're going to then do is sit on your bum, bring whichever leg forward, other one over, straighten my spine, lean forward, hug my knee, lean back. Again, I'm getting deep into my glutes just to get a deeper stretch. I feel it for a couple seconds, I let go, I bring my left arm over my right, my right hand behind, and I twist as deep as I can go. I then swap, lean forward, hug, straighten, lean back. If I feel that I'm really, really tight, I'm just going to rock ever so slight, just so I can get deeper into my spine. My right over my left knee, left hand behind, straighten and twist. So just get a nice little deep stretch into that core. Right, from here, I'm going to hold on to my feet, I'm going to pull up as deep as I can go, straighten myself, bring my elbows out to my shins and try to bring my chest to my feet. Doing a lot of work on the floor, we've got to get into the groin, into the lower back and every mobility movement we do is essential. Make my way to my feet and I'm at the top. This is a very old fashioned one but it works. Hold my foot behind me, the biggest mistake so everybody tries to push their hips back and then stretch and then wonder why they don't feel it. The purpose is actually to straighten my, my whole posture. I'm going to feel like somebody's kicking my hip from behind so my hip is pushing forward and then I pull my leg back. I'm going to feel a nice stretch basically from nipple to kneecap and that's when I know I've got a nice stretch. I'm going to hold it there. I can rotate my leg behind me however I want just for a deeper stretch in any movement and then do it with the other leg as well. If that doesn't work, grab yourself a bench, even a park bench. What we're going to do, go to one side, my feet come to here, stabilize myself, I'm just going to drop my hips. I'm going to feel along my ribs and into my core. And then I just simply twist to get really into my lats, into my lower back. And again, I imagine somebody's pushing me down and into my hips. I then swap to the other side. From here, whoop, legs out, and I twist and I dip down. Putting all the pressure into my arms, I get a nice stretch. All right? These are just basic movements and tips on how to warm and stretch yourself. If you can accomplish any of these when you are in the sea, if you get a cramp in the sea, it's very basic to try and get your leg up. You know, bite on your board if you have to, whichever, but keep yourself afloat and get those cramps out, alright? Also what helps 
If you are cramped, touch where it's cramping and push it out, okay? You've got a soft board, bite it if you have to and rub it out, okay? It's very important that you get those cramps taken care of immediately in the water and you don't drown. Right, thank you very much for listening to this video. Uh, yeah, camp spent now.